It's back to a new video today i'm here with a new kia niro 2023 version this is the hybrid version by the way and i want to present you the multimedia system the new multimedia system and the cockpit of course the head-up display as well because it comes with a head-up display that it's really really good to be honest guys i was really impressed to come inside this kia niro and i was like wow it's a big improvement uh, a lot of practicality a lot of great safety features and comfort and i was a little bit impressed to see it also from the exterior it looks really nice so if you want to see the full review with the car click the subscribe button to see the notification when the video will come uh, next days on the channel so uh, let's go to the review guys first of all we will start with multimedia and before that i want to show you how is the the view from the driver point of view all and i was like wow it's really nice i like this uh new steering wheel very much it's so they make so much space here in this area so you have a very good visibility in the cockpit very good visibility in the multimedia and also very good visibility on that head-up display that is directly on the windscreen and this was super impressed for me when i see that it's directly on the windscreen it doesn't bother you while you're driving it's just something small there so it's it's like nothing and yeah i want to zoom in one more time to see it uh, so you can see a little bit better it looks great and you have a lot of information right there on the screen anyway let's go forward uh first of all i like that uh, they put this finger here different driving mode you can change it from the steering wheel from this uh button here this button sorry guys and you can see that this model that i have with me it has two different driving modes echo mode and sport mode and every time you change the different driving mode it will change also the screen also uh, the buttons we have physical buttons here on the left side also with glossy plastic um, it looks quite nice with this glossy black and it's easy to use uh, the same as kia and also hyundai users with and from here you can change different views there on the screen is the same digital cockpit as hyundai use it on their cars and also new um, kia for example the kia sportage use the same screen and here you can see the consumption if you go forward you can see the navigation and direction from the navigation here you can see the tire pressure and engine temperature and if you go forward you can see the adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety features so it's not something incredible um so to say like a mercedes customizable but it's just fine it's you can see there all you need i mean you have all the information right there on the screen so from this point of view i think it's more than enough in my opinion and also you have a nice graphic uh right here that shows you what happened with the energy anyway let me go forward let me go to the multimedia system uh but before that let me tell you that the car come with this wheel is very similar with what ford used for changing the gear if you want to go in reverse neutral and drive also you have a lot of features here like ventilated seats heated steering wheel uh camera for example you press this button so you can see the camera resolution is very good and also you can change the different views on the camera uh, right here you can see it from up down or you can see it directly uh, in the back there so yeah that's quite quite useful and also parking sensors of course six in the front six on the rear but more about that in the review video now let me go forward down here they come with the same same controllers as kia sportage has and i like it very much they are kind of a touch screen buttons here and you can change the different uh, function of the climatic system the temperature here from the side for example uh, but also uh, you can change it to the navigation and shortcuts if you go up here you can see you go up and down and you can change to the climatic system to the navigation and to the shortcut and then they will transform in somehow shortcut buttons for map from navigation for radio for multimedia and for the setup i think you already see that because i have already a video uh, review with this new multimedia system from kia so you can see it also on the channel it's there there i go a little bit in more details and now it's transforming and you can change the volume from down here now if i go up now to the screen you can see right here the home button and on the home screen it has three screens this is the main screen with uh, time and date and then this is the main menu here you find all the menu like hybrid here on the hybrid you can see all the information about the car like electric what happened with the um, energy then you have the fuel consumption then you have down here the electric motor use uh, here you can also extend 
this area by the way i think you already know it from my other videos you can extend this area and you can see you can split it somehow in two and so you can see more information in the same time on the screen you can go to the map now it's in the night mode but you, in the day mode it will be illuminated and i have to say that it's very responsive it's a very good multimedia system i said that before on the hyundai cars and i say one more time here on the kia cars and also when you set a destination it will be loading really fast and it will get you to the destination in just a few seconds so it's very good in terms of uh, rapidity and how fast it's loading the stuff here now then you have the project the, the possibility to connect your android auto and apple phone but you need to use a usb cable that's something to keep in mind climatic system you can also adjust it from here and change different information from here from the screen like you can use that as a touch screen but you can use also the controllers down there uh, then the kia connect you have here kia live quiet mode uh, the settings of the car here you find all the settings the sound settings the phone connectivity the voice recognition You have the general settings. I will show you in a second the buttons the display you can change it the time and layout So for example for the display you can change the brightness of the display for example here the camera um, and all kind of um, information Then let me go back here we have the vehicle settings most important the vehicle settings so for example you can see here it shows you a nice graphic with different functions so if you go to driver convenience you can change from here the motorway driving assist motorway auto speed change you can activate and deactivate them the speed limit and all that safety features the warning volume the haptic uh, warning you have it here so you can change the driver safety priority reverse warning priority it's really really cool a lot of safety features that come with this Kia Niro as well driver safety here you have the lane assist blind spot safety exit safety uh, then you have the parking safety you can also activate and deactivate different safety features from here that's really cool and then you have of course um, all these uh, function here you can go directly on the shortcut you have, then you have the echo mode where you can choose the coasting guidance so you can have this sound or smart recuperation or driving zone mode this is new this green zone drive mode it's something new that the car will know that you drive in a sensitive area like now a lot of people around here in the center of the city and the car will drive in electric mode so somehow to save the air from pollution then let me go back it starts raining outside almost head-up display it's here from here you can uh, change different function on the head-up display and content selection and you can choose what you like to see on the head-up display there then you have the cluster the instrument cluster a lot of information here and the theme and you can change also the different views uh, internal air circulation automatic ventilation defrog the seats here you have the seat charge alert warm up ventilation seat and all that safety features light the ambient light by the way the car comes with the ambient light you can see it right there it looks quite quite nice on the dashboard uh, it looks super cool you can change also the colors from here the brightness the dimming dimming in dark uh, one touch turn indicator uh, welcome mirrors headlights and stuff like that you can find it also here then you have the door and the door settings a lot of smart tailgate for example when you come close to the car it will open up automatic convenience here rear occupant alert you have the wireless charging system auto rear and uh, passenger airbag so those are the most important settings of the car then you have the general settings where you can find all the information about the car the system information manual data and time language you can change the language keyboard units uh, of course you can change kilometer miles and the media settings here so a lot of great features a lot of great settings uh, and then you have the media the manual right here and all that uh, settings so those are the most important settings i hope you enjoy it if you still have questions ask me down below whatever you want to ask uh, guys i have another video with this new multimedia system from kia a little bit more in details if you want to see it it's already on the channel uh, if you want to see the full review with this kia nero click the subscribe button to see notification when the video will come out and if you have questions ask me down below don't forget to like share subscribe thank you for watching as always stay safe and see you soon in the next one bye guys